Welcome back. This is actually going to be a part two of my last video, which was how to do a vector separation in Illustrator. Uh, if you haven't already seen that video, click the link above and check that out first. But this is actually to answer a couple of your guys' questions, which was how do you do a properly choked underbase in Illustrator as vector? So that's what I'm going to show you today, and let's get into it. So the first thing we want to do is open up our layers window and take the viewing off of our registration marks and our label so that we don't modify those when we do this. And then you're going to select all and under Pathfinder, you're going to choose the third option merge. This usually takes a second or two because it's, there's a lot of different clipping masks and things going on. So here it goes. Right. And now we can put back our registration marks in our label. Then we're going to zoom in on it. We're going to click on it. And we're going to go select same fill color. And this time we're going to put a stroke on it. So we're going to click stroke here and we're going to make our stroke shirt color. That's going to choke everything back. So you can see here, this blue line represents where the artwork was, and then the choke, you can see where the green ends here, this is where the underbase is gonna end. So right now that's at a 0 0.0139 inch stroke. We can actually go down one, and that'll give us a little bit of a smaller stroke, which is a 0 0.104 inch stroke, and that's usually what I use when I do a stroke. So that's how you choke the underbase on a vector file. And uh, that's about it. So stay tuned for the next video. See ya.